So I haven't seen any spark. Apparently, there is something with the wire. Um, I'm going to check if it's also magnet or or some other problem. So I didn't see uh, this spark coming from the spark plug. So it's an indication that uh, I definitely kind of saw this uh, this chain. Let me see. filter definitely needs some cleaning I'll see if I can I can restore it it's pretty dirty right we have the carburetor carburetor looks um, looks fine to me it's not dirty uh, it's not clogged, but I'm I'm going to to check it out. Right. It's pretty cool how they assemble this chainsaw with all these fittings. line So the next step that we need to do is to remove the carburetor and um, we'll see how's it going. So here we have a um, couple of nuts, let me see now, it should be about, I would say eight, let me see if I have eight here. My eight. Almost out. I have to take this plate. It's a little bit tricky. So I have this trigger inside. So the choke lever um, and the plate, the filter plate, they, they assemble together. So you have to be careful not to break it. Now we have um, carburetor. And the fuel line. Right. Here is the, the fuel line that I need to dis I need to take out from the carburetor. Let me see. It's a little bit tricky.
I also have this spring here have to push it out. Let me see. Here it comes. Spring. This is the position that it was installed. And the tricky part is our The carburetor. It's pretty standard for Albro. Pretty cool that they have these um, plastic parts, so it helps just to it just um, helps to um, to navigate through through this hole because if you if you use the screwdriver, sometimes you cannot really feel it. It's really cool that they they make this part right here we have the gasket the gasket is pretty steep definitely need to replace this gasket yeah, I feel it, it's just, it's like metal. Wow. Yeah, it looks um, cast, like custom made thing. I'm going to take out the the cap of the recoil starter. This is usually four screws to here and to here. But before this, I have to drain all gas. So I can see it start dripping. All right. Well, this old gas you can actually use to clean some parts when you need to dissolve this sediment from the oil or from the rubber. So it's quite useful. You can't really reuse it again because normally it's um, about one week that you can use it. Yeah, you can see it here. It's a very strange color. Right, four screws here. Nearly done. Yes, 
Oh wow, it's really dirty. I'm going to clean everything here. So I'm probably going to flush it using this old. Yes, the flywheel seems seems fine. It's definitely a custom made cable here, so I'm going to check it out and see whether it needs the replacement. You can see the magneto in here. So I'm not sure I'm going to, to, to see if you know, this needs replacement. Alright. The next thing that I'm going to do is to take the muffler out. It's a pretty standard procedure, you just need to use the 8mm wrench. Just to screw it. And one more here. Looks fairly okay, but I'm going to um, to clean it. I didn't see that much dirt in inside. Well, the piston looks very nice. Just yeah, look at that. Wow. Well, apparently it was changed, so don't think it's going to be a problem to, to reach the compression that that is required. As you can see, there is no overheating, anything like this. Looks very good. Yes. It's a lot of dirt in this chain, so. I'm going to see if I need to to flush it all 